Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's me, David, once again, and um, your brother in Christ. Amen. Um, I'm just uh, grateful for this morning. Um, always giving thanks to the Lord for another day. Um, for he is so good, so good to us. And, uh, and I just, um, well, my, my thoughts were a little scattered uh, <laughs> this morning. Uh, it never fails, you know, I get, I don't know why I get really nervous uh, before recording this. And, um, but I guess after I get going and the Holy Spirit starts giving me uh, strength and courage and, and speaking boldly through me, um, I guess it's, it's normal. Um, but, uh, so anyhow, I, I hope everybody is, um, blessed this morning or whatever time of day it is. I know I always say that because, uh, when you're watching, it could be nighttime or, or the middle of the day or, or, um, or morning. So I hope, um, all you are blessed and, um, I just continue to pray for the body of Christ from every tribe, tongue, and nation from all over this world. Uh, especially in and around the Middle East, um, our home base, uh, Jerusalem and all the surrounding nations. Um, I continue to keep uh, Israel in prayer. Um, I pray for the salvation of Israel and for the surrounding nations. Um, and so without further ado, I'm going to continue in the book of Enoch. And this might be different for, uh, I don't see many uh, reading out of the book of Enoch, but uh, I find it amazing. Now, once again, uh, you would have to know or, or read the prophets of the Bible to um, understand. Uh, as I read, if you're familiar with the prophets, what they spoke uh, about the end times and, and even in history, um, the prophecies of the Bible, then, then you're going to be aware of the of what i'm beginning to read um it'll just uh pop out at you uh like it did me hopefully you'll be blessed by it um and so i'm gonna i already read the forward from this book and uh i'm gonna now start reading chapter one it's called uh the watchers um and so yeah may, may the lord be blessed may we glorify his holy name uh, in Yeshua's name I pray, amen, amen. Okay, chapter one, uh, it says, The words of the blessing of Enoch, through which he blessed the chosen and just, who will exist on the day of tribulation, when all the wicked and impious will be removed. And then answered and spoke Enoch, a righteous man, whose eyes were opened by God, so that he saw a holy vision in the heavens, which the angel showed me. And from them I heard everything, and I knew what I saw, but not for this generation, but for the far off generations which are to come. And I just want to stop there and say, that's us, you know, for the far off generations which are to come. And even when it was written, uh, for the generations that were going to come after him, far off, it says, generations. Um, and meaning that this is uh, uh, es escalo uh, es eschatological. I'm sorry, I can't, I, I, get, I fumble my words, but eschatological. Um, end times, okay? Um, being that we're, we're, uh, everything's lining up through what was spoken through Daniel, um, all the prophets, um, Jeremiah, um, Isaiah, Ezekiel, um, John, beloved, his beloved, uh, in the book of Revelation, it's all lining up. And um, as we see now, um, I just, I just uh, can't uh, continue without uh, uh, recommending uh, uh, Chad Harvey. I just watched a video by him yesterday. Um, you know, it's, it's, she's just so, the, the Lord is using him so, uh, mightily and Joel Richardson and all them, but I just saw Chad's, Chad's, uh, latest video. So please look for Chad McCarvey and, and follow along with his series that he's doing right now. Um, 
the hunters and the fishermen and he just aligns everything up with what's going on in the Middle East um, right now. And so we know the reason I'm saying this, so we know that it's beginning to line up. Um, there are certain things that have to take place in prophecy and end time prophecy and prophecy. And and right now, if you, if you know, that's why it's so important. If you know the, the prophetic messages and, and, you're, and you are, are reading them and uh, looking towards the Middle East, um, you will know that it's it's lining up, okay? Um, and so if not in my generation, or I know for sure in the next generation, we don't know how fast it's, it's actually, um, I was speaking to a brother yesterday and he says, yeah, you know, it's, it's coming to that time, you know, of his return, but certain events have to, have to happen. And, and as we are aware of these things, then, then we are going to be prepared. And then we could actually help others to be prepared, uh, when they don't know what's coming upon them, we could actually, and that's what we're here for, you know, especially those who live in Israel, especially those who live in the surrounding nations of Israel, because that's, uh, as you would say, the epicenter, you know, um, that's where the Lord, that's where it started. That's where the Lord's going to return to Jerusalem. And uh, that's where the great tribulation, uh, Jacob's distress is going to happen in Jerusalem, in Israel. So, um, so yes, this, this is very important so that we could help in any way we can to prepare those who live there and, and the surrounding nations. Amen. Um, Okay, so I'm going to continue, and as I as I said that, you know, just just listen, okay, and and uh, and uh, this book of Enoch has a lot to say, okay. So it says, verse two once again, and then answered and spoke Enoch, a righteous man whose eyes were opened by God, so that he saw a holy vision in the heavens, which the angels showed me, and from them I heard everything. And I knew what I saw, but not for this generation, but for the far off generations which are to come. Concerning the chosen, I spoke and conversed concerning them with the Holy and Great One, who will come from his abode. The Holy and Great One, that's Messiah, amen? That's Yeshua, from his abode, the God of the world. And from there he will step on, and from there he will step on to Mount Sinai, and appear with his host, and appear in the strength of his power from heaven. And all will fear, and the watchers will tremble, and great fear and terror will seize them to the ends of the earth. This is speaking of the day of the Lord. Okay, this is when he returns. Okay. Um, and there, and from there, he will step on to Mount Sinai. Okay, uh, I highly recommend you read from uh, from uh, Zion to Sinai, um, from Sinai to Zion. <laughs> I believe I got that right by Joel Richardson. Um, he, he just goes from beginning to end. Nothing but scriptures is so. The book is so. Yeah, it's just I highly recommend you get that book and read it. And from there he will step on to Mount Sinai and appear with his host and appear in the strength of his power from heaven. And all will fear and the watchers will tremble and great fear and terror will seize them to the ends of the earth. And the exalted mountains will be shaken and the high hills will be lowered and will melt like wax before the flame. Now I did a cross reference of this, um, but I, all my notes and everything were in the, in the other computer and I couldn't get to them, but just, uh, and all the exalted mountains will be shaken. There's so many verses. I think there's like 15 times, 16 times, uh, I think in, in, in the new and old Testament alone that it speaks of a shaking. Okay. And, uh, and a change in, you know, the, the sun will grow dark, you know, it's, it's like, uh, a cosmic, uh, a cosmic shaking in the heavens, and and which of course reflects on the earth. Okay, at that time of his return, and so it says in verse six, and the exalt and the exalted mountains will be shaken, and the high hills will be lowered and will melt like wax before the flame, and the earth will be submerged 
and everything that is on the earth will be destroyed, and there will be a judgment upon everything and upon all the just. But to the just he will give peace and will protect the chosen. Amen. And mercy will abide with them. The chosen being born again believers, believing in, in, in Yeshua is why it's so important. And mercy will abide with them, and they will and they will all be gods, and will be prosperous and blessed, and the light of God will shine for them. Now, okay, right here I want to clarify this. Um, it says, and they will all be gods. I, I know of a particular religion where I think it's Mormonism um, that they say that, we, you know, we are gods, you know, and and to a certain degree, yes, okay, but not to the extreme of, of how they portray it, okay? Uh, we're all made in the image of God, okay? And that is just another term of we're like imagers, okay? We're, we're made in his image. So right here it has a, a capital G, um, I, I don't, I don't agree with that. Okay. Because the only, and the meaning I say capital, because capital will be God. God alone is unique. He is our creator. Okay. Um, so that causes for a, a capital G. Okay. Whenever you see God or Yeshua, you know, always a cap or even all caps. Okay. So when, right here, when I read this, it says gods and they will all be gods. Okay, uh, I believe that should be a small g because we're less than. We are his creation. We will be resurrected, receive new bodies, yes. And uh, we'll have this resurrected body, amen. And uh, so certain, to a certain degree, yeah, we could say gods, but small g, you know, created by our Lord. He is the creator. He is the unique one. Yeshua is the unique one. He is God Almighty, Yeshua. And so he uh, is our creator. Amen. So if we're going to be called gods, it has to be with a small g. Amen. Okay, so I'm going to continue and it says, and they will all become gods and will be prosperous and blessed and the light of God will shine for them. And behold, he comes with myriads of the holy ones to pass judgment upon them and will destroy the impious and will call to account all flesh for everything the sinners and the impious have done and committed against him. Chapter 2, I observed everything that took place in the heavens, how the luminaries which are in the heavens do not depart from their paths, the luminaries being um, the stars, the moon, the sun, okay? How the luminaries which are in the heavens do not depart from their paths, that each one rises and sets in order, each in its time, and they do not depart from their laws, law of nature, law of God. Um, see the earth and observe the things that are done on it. From the first to the last, how no work of God is irregular in appearing. It's not irregular, meaning it's not out of order. It's it's all, it's, it's you know, I'm going to briefly stop there. And and uh, as uh, yesterday, I was watching um, a show uh, on Netflix. Um, it's called uh, The Universe, okay? And, and, and my hat's off to these scientists, okay? These astronomers that are, are uh, seeking, uh, and it, it says in the, in the, in the, in the, in the documentary, I think it is, you know, it says, um, it says searching for alien planets, you know, and uh, I don't know how they, they use that term alien. Maybe they don't mean by like UFO aliens, but, um, you know, they're doing a good work, you know, they're, they're searching, you know, and, and as I was, um, as they were getting stumped, okay, stumped meaning they were running into like, they couldn't understand, you know, how this happens. Like, a, a, there's a, um, it's called a Pegasus, uh, 51 Pegasus uh, planet. And then all of a sudden they found another planet that they don't know where it came from, but they discovered it, you know, and they're like, we don't know how that happened, you know, it, because it's not, it's not in the ordinary. It's not, it's, it's, it shouldn't be there. We don't know. We don't know how it got there, this planet. And so they called it uh, the Pegasus, uh, 51 Pegasus 
uh, A, okay, because they start, okay, A, that's the first one. And then as they find more planets, they're going to call them A, B, C, okay? So, you know, with, but they didn't speak at all in this in this uh, documentary. I don't know if they're believers. I doubt it because they don't mention God and they don't mention a creator. Um, and so, you know, I'm laughing because I'm watching this and they're like, we don't know. We just... It kind of it, it's it's we're, we're amazed at this. We don't know how it got there, this planet. Uh, but we found the planet and this and that. And, and 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 don't get me wrong. They know what they're talking about as far as like uh, how they found it, how they discovered it. It's just awesome. You know, um, the galaxies, how they could measure uh, how they even could uh, measure weather, you know, on a, on a planet so far away, you know, and and certain ways they've done this, you know, so. Uh, with with uh, technology that they have nowadays, but every time they would say, "We don't know. It's just amazing. We don't know how it got there and stuff." And I'm like, "God, God created it. God did this. This is his. This is his uh, canvas. You know, this is his his artwork. I like to say this is his artwork. You know, this is even when I see majestic majestic mountains and landscapings and and waterfalls and, and just the ocean and just the vastness of his creation, you know, and then you, you go into the, the luminary, the stars, you know, the, the planets, the universe. And it's like, you know, when you're a believer, <clears throat> you're like, God did that, you know? And it's like, like I said before, <clears throat> excuse me, like I said before, you know, never put God in a box, you know, never, because, you know, it, we see things, because of our perspective, like right here on earth, we see the trees. Okay. And that's all good. But then when we start looking out into the heavens, you know, that's a whole other realm. It's like, wow, you know, and, and, and it's just amazing, you know, the stars and the colors and the gases and this and that, and the ad, you know, it's just amazing. So, so it's like, I was laughing because they, they never mentioned God in this show that I was watching last night, you know, and I'm like, that's God, you know, it's, it's the Lord God Almighty creator, you know, and, uh, and the Lord must be looking down because nothing was created. Everything was created through our Lord Yeshua. Amen. He's always been there. He is the Lord. He is God Almighty. And so he, he must be, even the angels must be looking back and, and watching, uh, the earthlings uh, uh, searching and seeking, and it must it must make them joyful because they know the angels know what's going on. You know the the heavenly host knows what's going on. Who created all this? Who where does it come from? And 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 they know that side. They know that realm really good, right? And and they look. They must be looking down and saying, "That's our Lord." You know the angels and the heavenly host. You know um, even those who are there. You know already that have have passed, you know, and as believers, you know, they're in that place uh, where God has prepared for them, you know, where our Lord has prepared for us, you know. And so um, it's just, I thought I would add that in there, you know. Um, amen. God, God is amazing. So anyhow, it says, uh, see the earth, see the earth and observe the things that are done on it. Okay. From the first to the last, how no work of God is irregular in appearing. See the summer and the winter, how when the whole earth is full of water and clouds and dew and rain rest over it. Chapter 3. I observed and saw how then all the trees appeared as if withered and all their leaves are shaken off except 14, except 14 trees whose leaves are not shaken off, but which abide with the old from two to three years till the new come. Chapter 4. And again I observe the days of summer, how the sun is then above it, i.e. the earth, the sun is above the earth, opposite to it. But you seek cool and shady places on account of the heat of the sun. And the earth also burns with fervent heat, but you cannot step on the earth or on a rock because of their heat. Um, that was another thing that was spoken in this this uh, this uh, show that I was watching last night. Um, you know, it, it, this plan these planets have extreme heat on them, and they they couldn't understand why it's not obliterated by heat. 
you know, and then they even uh, were able to take a picture uh, of the op the opposite side where the sun is not hitting it. Like the, the, the side of the sun, they, they even, it's like on fire, you know, this other planet. And, and they said, well, they don't know why the other side, which is not being hit, being, uh, the sun is not shining on it can be also like fervent heat burning on it, you know? And it's so it's like, wow, well, it's, it's, it's amazing. Anyhow. Okay. So it says, uh, but here on earth, it's just the right temperature. You know, I know there's places where it's like 120, you know, and it's, it gets hot, so hot. It says right here that you can't even step on a rock because you'll burn your foot. You know, I, I've been to places like that um, where it's extreme heat, you know, 119, 120, it gets up to. And um, one of them is like, uh, I think it's called Death Valley. You know, the, it gets extremely hot there. And if if you leave metal or a car, a car hood, they even done this where they, they crack an egg, you know, and, and they put it on the hood of a car and it starts cooking it, you know. So, but it's not hot enough to obliterate us, you know, it's just, just right, you know. Um, the Lord knows what he's doing, you know, this is his earth. He created it. So it's calculated just, just right. And, um, and so they're seeking life on another planet also, you know, it's like, you know, they, they so far, says so far, they haven't been able to find another planet with like ours, you know, and it's like, of course not. This is a special planet. It's so unique, you know, it's, it's made for us to live on the water, you know, the, the sun, the moon, you know, the trees, the vegetation. It's just made to live on and, and they're searching, they're searching so much for another planet you know, to live on. And that's okay. Let them search, you know, but they're not going to find another planet like this. I, they're not, you know, unless the Lord, and they talk about other earths, like there's another earth, you know, and so far they're like, but we haven't seemed to find it, you know, it's like, you know, but they claim there's other earths, you know, and if there is, the Lord's like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I really don't believe so. I think the earth is unique. Um, but never put God in a box, you know, we never know, but I, it, the, the Bible doesn't teach us that. So I don't believe there's another earth, you know, not like this one. This is so unique. Okay. Amen. So, um, it says, but you seek cool and shady places on account of the heat of the sun and the earth also burns with fervent heat, but you cannot step on the earth or on a rock because of their heat. Chapter five. I observed how the trees covered themselves with the green of the leaves and bear fruit. But observe you, but observe you all this and learn how he who lives forever has made all these things for you. It says, but, but observe you all this, observe you, all of you, all this and learn how he who lives forever has made all these things for you. Be grateful. Amen how his works are before him in every year that comes and all his works serve him and are not changed. But as God has ordained, so everything takes place and see how the seas and the rivers together accomplish their work. But you have not, pre uh, but you have not pres persevered, but you have not pres uh, persevered. Yeah. But you have not persevered and have not done the commandment of the Lord, but have transgressed and have slandered his greatness with high and hard words from your unclean mouths. You hard hearted, you will have no peace. And therefore you will curse your days and the years of your lives perish. The everlasting curse will increase and you will receive no mercy. On that day, okay, on that day, you will give away your peace for an everlasting curse to all the just, and they will ever curse you as sinners, you together with the sinners. But for the chosen, there will be light and joy and peace, and they will inherit the earth. But for you, the impious, there will be a curse. And then also wisdom will be given to the chosen, and they will all live and not continue to sin, neither through wickedness nor through pride. 
But they in whom there is wisdom will be humble without continuing to sin. Amen. And they will not be punished all the days of their lives and will not die through plagues or judgments of wrath. But the number of the days of their lives will be completed and their lives will become old in peace. And the years of their joy will be many in everlasting happiness and peace for all the days of their life. Oh man, what a blessing. Remember when it says the chosen, we are the chosen, born again believers, believers in Yeshua, amen? Believers in Jesus Christ. And it came to pass after the children of men, this is chapter six, and it came to pass after the children of men had increased in those days, beautiful and comely daughters were born to them. Okay, here we go. And the angels, the sons of the heavens, saw and lusted after them. This is a rebellion, okay? This is the rebellion, okay? Spoken of in Genesis 6. And the angels, the sons of, and the angels, the sons of the heavens, saw and lusted after them. Lusted after who? The beautiful, com comely daughters who were born, the children of men, uh, females, okay? Uh, human, human beings, okay? And this is the big thing. No, no, I, I, I comment on this because this, from this point forward, things fell. These spirits, these angels, they, they corrupted mankind and they continue throughout till today. And once you see this, you're like, okay, why all the lust right now? Why all the sexual morality? Why, why all this immorality? Why the rapes? Why the uh, child abductions? Why child pornography? Why all this stuff is going on? It, it's all derived from these these fallen ones. Okay, there's where lust. You know, they broke that 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 command of God. They they just broke. They just rebelled. You know, and this is major because once you know this and you understand this and you see it happening, you're like, oh well, that's. The disembodied spirits that's the, the 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 spirits the angels that went into i'll continue and then, then you'll understand okay it says and the angels the sons of the heavens saw and lusted after them and said one to another behold we will choose for ourselves wives from among the children of men and will beget for ourselves children and simchasa okay it has names okay um, names that are not in the Bible, but like we said, we, we got to be cautious with this, okay? Um, we know that angelic beings have names, okay? We know our archangel, Michael. We know Gabriel, okay? Um, we know the seraphim, the cherubim. Um, but right here it goes, it, it's like... He, it goes a step further and there's actually names and this was written of a lot names of the fallen ones uh even ranks and names to these uh deities these uh rebellious ones you know even names of uh more archangels okay um and we'll be reading that too um so just you know you can believe this you know um but since it's not biblical, it's not in our canonized Bible, just read it and, and uh, know that it, it could be true, okay? Um, um, but don't, I guess, don't don't go off. I don't know. I, I just, just be cautious with it. And But it's very interesting, okay? Uh, I, the reason why I stutter kind of like that is because who, who are we to know if this is not true? OK, um, being that Enoch is biblical, he is in the Bible. OK, and that we know that God took him up. OK, uh, so he's like I mentioned in my other video, he was very special. OK, and so. Um, so with this, I'm going to I'm going to stop there. OK, and we'll continue um, in the next video. Like I said, I'm going to keep them short. This is uh Chapter six of the first, uh, the Jewish book, the first Jewish book of Enoch, uh, of first Enoch, the Jewish book of first Enoch, uh, chapter six, and we ended in uh, verse three. Um, 
so yeah, catch my next video, okay? And we'll continue reading. I hope this was a blessing to you. And uh, yes, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his countenance shine upon you uh, and bring you peace, bring you shalom. I, I think I got that wrong again. I'm sorry, but I just want to end this video with a blessing. Uh, may you catch me in my next video. Thank you for watching.